Good evening. Welcome to the night shift with Yoga Galactica. Ah, I'm feeling much better. I got out in nature and talked to some dear friends. And thank you all for your comments and support today. Sometimes you just feel the weight of the world and you got to let yourself feel it and go through it. But so happy to be here and to be with you all. And I'm going to quickly share this. Hey, Jenny, on my Facebook page, if you're watching and you would like to share in any groups or on your page, that would be amazing. And Jenny, just FYI, I am going to uh, put up our event tomorrow. And for this week, Nic Nicole Jadis is going to lead us through a new moon ritual that's going to be really cool and I can't wait to connect with you all. We're going to talk about our shadows and our wounds that are coming up throughout this quarantine and life. So let me share this on my page and Siri can take over and we'll get started. <sighs> all right. Good evening, fellow family members, tribe, loved ones. Hope you're doing well out there. This is our Second time being here today, Tuesday quick shift, double time, double duty, double shift, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, had a pretty nice day. Definitely had a little rougher morning, but then it shifted. And of course, doing the shifts help us shift too. So we appreciate you tuning in and all your comments and everything. Um, you're just joining us for the very first time. Again, plugging into some speakers or amplifying the audio is the best way to experience this transmission. Finding a comfortable, quiet place in your home or office or wherever you may be, your home office. Um, and even if there's distractions around, you know, do it. If your dogs are running around, if your children, if your dog children or whatever, do the, do the yoga, get into it, do some breath work, do some movement. We're gonna be here till about 8.30 and we're nope. gonna sign out so we can all eat dinner at a decent time and enjoy the rest of our night. So I'd say let's just get into it. All right, I'm gonna draw from the unicorns tonight. Sacred unicorn. Hi Jason, welcome. Jennifer, Vanita, hopefully Ellen's in the house tonight. I got some really cool masks today from a community member that have a replaceable filter. They're very cool looking. I'm excited to sport them when and if I ever make it out. But uh, so many of our friends are making really cool looking masks. And since now they are not only required, but they're almost, I mean, they can be part of your fashion good to support community members in that. Hi Gretchen, welcome. Beautiful. Um, Thank and Gretchen, you. I invited you to the Women's Circle this Thursday night. I always invite you on Facebook, um, but I can send you the link as well. So let's see what the unicorns have to say if something jumps out for us. can tell I have a deep love affair with Bella. She's the mother of kisses and there's never a lack of kisses. And uh, if she's offering, I'm receiving. So, you know, yeah. got to get it while you can. Well, I have never seen this card. I didn't even know it was in the deck. <laughs> it's polarity. Woo! And that is basically exactly what I was just talking about, what we're going to talk, talk about in the women's circle this Thursday night. Um, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Let's see what polarity has to say. I literally have never seen this card before. Have you seen this card? No, it's gorgeous. All right. So before I read this, sitting up nice and tall, let's take a deep inhale through the nose. 
and sigh out the day. Ha. Ah. Now take a long, deep inhale into the belly. And as you exhale, feel it going into your extremities. Oh. Filling you up. Deep inhale. Hold the breath gently at the top, sipping a little more. And think about your intention for tonight's practice or just fill your mind with whatever you are grateful for today. Let that swell. And whenever you're ready, powerfully exhale that out. And hold empty for a moment. Turn your palms up. And now I invite you to think about what made you feel gratitude today. Let the corners of your lips tilt upward and just feel that. Breathe it in. Deep inhale. Sigh it out. Ah, oh. Shake off the day. Hands, head, fingers, elbows. Make a little noise. up to the sky. Stretch. And as you exhale, slow as you can, bringing the hands down to the center of the heart of the chest. And deepen your breathing here. Lengthen the inhale and exhale. Gently pause at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. And I'm going to read this card. Polarity. We have all played in the shadows and dabbled in the darkness throughout different lifetimes. There is no judgment from the divine on what you did or didn't do in this or any other incarnation. Source sees you as wholly lovable and worthy, even if you were part of destruction or deception in other times. Only we hold ourselves in judgment and punish ourselves because we feel we are anything less than pure light. These unicorns show you that there cannot be light without the dark. There cannot be day without the night. Just as you could not have the capacity to hold the level of light that you do now if you had not plunged deep into the darkness before. Whew. You would not appreciate the good things you have now if you had not experienced their opposite. This polarity serves you beautifully. Rather than trying to disown your shadow side, be proud of it, own it, and integrate it. When you do this, it can no longer hold power over you and you can start to love and accept every part of yourself. Doing this brings you true freedom Freedom from the penance you believe you have to pay for being less than pure. Freedom from the lie of original sin that has shackled humanity for centuries. Freedom from unworthiness and from feeling less than others. You are perfect just as you are with your light and your dark. Whew. That's a perfect card for today. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, I was definitely feeling a lot of shadows and I go through times, many times of just feeling unworthy. And a lot of that is stemmed from my past, you know, fuck yeah, Jenny. <laughs> um, but the thing is, is that my past has made me who I am. And usually my kryptonite becomes my superpower. And I'm sure that a lot of you can relate to that. There can be no darkness without light. And sometimes we have to just crack open that darkness. And those little cracks are what lets the light in and illuminates whatever it is that we need to work on. So thank you for being here and for being you, all of you. <sighs> Good card. Thank you, unicorn. All right. So let's go ahead and get this shift going. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, close your eyes. 
rub the palms, fingers, knuckles, create some friction, stimulate the thousands of nerve endings in your hands. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, coming to stillness. And already feeling the power of the breath calming you, connecting you to this moment, to yourself, to your practice. Notice if your intention has become clear or changed, and just honor whatever it is. Bow your chin to your chest, and as we bow our heads, let's take a moment to be grateful for this beautiful planet that holds us, for all the elements that support us, for all of the food that we have, the beautiful food, for our shelter, for our loved ones, for our children, for our animals, for our families, communities, and for this earth. Let's take a moment to bow to ourselves, our dark and our light. Bow to your body, your health, your ability to heal. Bow to your intuition, which is your guide and listen to it and bow to your journey all of it has made you who you are and you are such a gift take a moment to send yourself some love and gratitude for showing up to give back to the most important person in your life inhale sit tall sigh it out Pull your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. Good. And again, inhale, pull them up, squeeze. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. One more time. Inhale, pull them up. Exhale, roll down your back. Let's reverse that. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward. Good. Really exaggerate the rolls. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward. Last time. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward. Placing it on your belly, touch your right finger and right thumb in Gyan Mudra, making a perfect little OK peace symbol here, OK symbol here. Place your hand on your knee. Breath of fire is powerful breath. You're focusing on the exhale and pumping the breath through the
the body. So if you've never done it before, stick your tongue out of the mouth and begin to pant like a dog. <laughs> your thumbs reach up and exhale let the hands float down creating a beautiful golden circle of light around you palms up into the sky and just breathe deep here feeling the energy move in your body feel yourself breathing into the belly and be grateful that that one's over good job yogis all right, let's go ahead and roll over our knees and come into a tabletop position on our mat. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, spread the fingers nice and wide. Inhale, belly low, head back. Exhale, round the back, head down, cat cow. Powerful breath. 
breath. opposite direction. As you sit here, just dropping deeper into a meditative space, becoming so aware of all the sensations within your body, around your body, <clears throat> the air touching your skin, your hair, your clothes, the room, your environment, just creating this deep sense of awareness right here, right now. 
And then we're going to roll up and over the legs, and we're going to press into a low squatting position here. <clears throat> and if you can, try to get your feet flat to the earth. So really shift the weight back into the heels. Feel your tailbone anchoring down to the earth. Get your knees a little wider. Bring your elbows and shoulders to the insides of the knees. Press the palms together and then take the elbows and push on the insides of the knees and gently opening up. Roll the hips a little bit in one direction and then going in the opposite direction. Tilt the chin up to the sky. And then lower the forehead down. And just let the head and neck gently sway left and right. And then release the hands. Bring them down to the earth. You're going to lift the feet. Bring the heels together. The balls of the feet and the toes are on the ground. We're coming into a squatting frog position here. Your knees are open wide. Fingertips are going to touch down to the earth. And the movement's going to look like this. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, lower down. Tilt the chin up. So inhale, up. Exhale, down. Chin up. Keep going. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good. Move to the rhythm of your breath, the rhythm of the drum. Powerful breath, powerful movement. That's it. crown of your head reach towards the earth let the backs of the legs open up let your whole body just sway left and right good now on your next inhale begin to roll the spine up take it slow take it smooth Roll the shoulders up to the ears, then all the way down the back. Now inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, stretch, reach, lengthen. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, roll the body up, sweep the arms up, press the palms together. Exhale, float them all the way down. And again, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold, stretch, reach, lengthen. Good, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold again. Last time, inhale, roll up. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, release. And we're going to do a dynamic movement that really strengthens the core of the body, the hips, the backs of the legs. It's very simple. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hinge up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, fold and keep going. You want to keep the legs straight. Keep the spine straight. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Good. 45 seconds.
come standing tall, pause here in mountain pose. Feeling your heart beating through your chest into the earth. Giving this great, beautiful earth some love, some life force. Beautiful. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Sigh it out. Or actually turn over onto your back roll your body over onto your back and let's go ahead and pull our knees up into our chest and rock from side to side and we're gonna begin rocking up and down up and down so we can rock ourselves all the way over into plow pose. And then wiggle your shoulders together. Hands on the lower back and breathe here into the belly. <sighs> Long deep breath. You can point your toes to let the tops of your feet rest on the earth. Feel this pose just releasing any tension in the body. Deep breath. And then clasping the lower back, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, use the core of the body to slowly lift the legs all the way up in the shoulder stand. Oh, I love this pose at the end of the day, just breathing, letting all of the energy drain from the soles of the feet down through the body, down through the shoulders, into the earth. Long, deep breath here. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, lower the right foot down. Keep both legs straight and just breathe into this L shape. Good. Now inhale, right leg up. And exhale, slowly lower the left leg down. Breathe in here. Feel the tingles in your toes. Beautiful. Now inhale both legs up. And as you exhale, let the knees bend and bring your knees down towards your forehead. Breathing, surrendering here. And if you'd like, you can let the toes come down toward the ground. 
deep breath here. And then what we're going to do is reach around carefully. Grab the outsides of our feet. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, slow as you can. Rolling the spine down. Ah, and coming into happy baby. Just rocking from side to side. Let your head rock with your knees and your legs and breathe. Think again about what made you feel grateful today. And let that fill you up. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release the feet down. Make sure the feet are hip width distance apart. And look down the sides of your hips and make sure your feet are pointing straight ahead. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lift the hips, the thighs up into bridge pose. Wiggle your shoulders together and breathe long and deep here. Let the belly become full of air. Don't hold your muscles in. Just breathe. But squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs. Long deep breaths. You can clasp the hands underneath the back. Good. With an inhale, come up to the tips of your toes. Press the hips up. You can either stay right here or come into a full back bend, full wheel, your choice. I'm going to stay here tonight. Breathe deep, yogis. One more inhale. Lift, hold, sipping more breath. And as you exhale, vertebra by vertebra, release the spine all the way down. Whew, good. We're going to do one more exercise and then jump into breath work. So pull the knees up into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins as tight as you can and begin breath of fire. job friends let's stretch our bodies out on the mat as we get ready for breath work thank you for giving your all to you we feel it through the interwebs thank your body all right great job everybody we are going to finish off with some Wim Hof breath, one yeah. of our favorite breathing exercises because of how transformational and even psychedelic this breath can be. If you've never done it before, you're going to come laying down on your back. We're doing about 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth. The exhale is soft and relaxing. 
We do it together, we do it rhythmically. It sounds like this. Good, so go ahead, start in right here. That's it. for at least 15 seconds. Feel that breath swell and pressurize in the lungs. Good, that's it. Try sipping in a little more breath right at the top. Holding in. And then when you're ready, exhale, release, let it go. Beautiful. Take a few breaths in between the rounds here. Feel your body feeling relaxed yet energized, calm yet focused. And we are gonna jump back into that for one more round. So again, if you're just joining us, Wim Hof breath, laying down on your back, flat, 40 powerful breaths in, the exhales relaxing, round two, here we go. That's it, here we go, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale all the breath out. 
holding empty right here at the bottom of the breath. Relax fully and deeply. Surrender, release, let go. Stay here at the bottom of the breath. Can you relax even deeper? Imagine, imagine you're literally melting down into the earth, merging back into all that is sacred, including yourself. Staying here with the breath held out as long as you can. When you're ready, allowing yourself to take a nice, big, deep inhale. And now we hold that breath in right at the top. Hold it in. Feel that X oxygen swelling, pressing into the lungs, going into the bloodstream through the heart center, into every cell of your being. Circulating, energizing, revitalizing, purifying, cleansing. Hold in at least 15 seconds, but if you can, you can hold it longer. Beautiful. And when you've held in as long as you can, either try sipping in a little more breath, Or just let it go. Listen to your body and follow. Beautiful. And now is your opportunity to come into the most comfortable, relaxed position here on your mat or wherever you are. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Maybe place a pillow underneath your knees. Cover your eyes with a piece of cloth or anything you have that is suitable. Make a last few wiggles or adjustments through the legs, the hips, the spine, the face, the head, the neck, the fingers, the toes. And then take a nice big inhale. Hold that breath at the top. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Open the mouth. Exhale. Sigh it out. Ah, relax. Great job.
going to leave you with this beautiful poem by Rupi Kaur. To hate is an easy, lazy thing. But to love takes strength. Everyone has, but not all are willing to practice. And taking a nice, big, deep inhale. And sigh it out. Ah. And again, another nice, big, deep inhale. And let it go with a nice ah. sense of love, joy, contentment here in this moment. Gratitude. Let the fingers and toes begin to wiggle and move. Bring that up into the hands and the feet, the wrists and the ankles. Bring it up into the elbows, the knees, the hips, the spine, the head, the neck, the shoulders, the chest. And then stretch the arms up and over the head and squeeze through the whole body. And then as you relax, bring the knees up into the chest. Take the hands on top of the knees. Draw circles with the knees in one direction. And then drawing circles with the knees in the opposite direction. And then you're going to wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And when you're ready, you're going to begin to rock yourself up and down on your legs, on your spine, rocking up and down up and down all the way up all the way down a few more times massaging adjusting the spine and then you're going to rock yourself up into a seated position here on your mat keeping the eyes closed sitting tall take the hands rub them together create some heat and some friction press the palms together press the thumbs into the center of the chest and as we breathe here slow and smooth Let's first take this moment to bless up the space that we practiced in. Bless up your home, your room, wherever you are. We will bless up the spaceship and everything in this space. Thank you. And then secondly, sending some love out to somebody in your life that needs a little bit of a boost or a shift right here, right now. Send it from your heart to theirs and let them receive it fully. And then take this same love and spread it all across our beautiful planet, our earth, our mother, and thanking her so much for all that she gives. And then thanking everything here on this earth, for we are all part of this earth, this dynamic, beautiful creation. And then letting the chin fold into the chest, turning inward here. In these final moments, first and foremost, as an acknowledgement of yourself, of the unique divine fractal of this great cosmic universe that you are a part of and then extending this to our teachers and mentors and those that have guided us throughout the years the ages and shared so we may be able to be here and share right now what a blessing sat nam namaste aho blessed be When you're ready, letting your eyes slowly blink open with a soft gaze. Coming back into this room, into this time and space, we just want to send a huge form of love, gratitude, and thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Kamala, for your light, your wisdom, your beauty, and being such an amazing human. Aww. I love you. Thank you. I look up to yeah. you. And thank you to everyone that joined us, Julien, Carlos, Jenny, Gretchen, Mimi, Mimi Christy, Christy, David, David Jeff, Alan, Eden, Jeff, Nicole, beautiful, yeah, Gretchen, woohoo, so, love you. Just to give you guys a little bit of a, a heads up and a fair warning, we might just stop. Okay. That's Matt. Um, that's Matt. Sorry. <laughs> Bella's doing her job. 
Uh, we might be switching just to all of our daytime shifts. Um, just to make it nice and easy, nice and simple, give you guys six days a week at 11-11. We haven't made an official decision or an official announcement, but you guys are closest to us, so we wanted to share that with you. Um, if you have something to say about it, leave it in the comments, and that might change our decision. We always love to hear from you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. And um, yeah, we hope you have a great rest of your night. Eat some delicious food. Just sleep well, be well, reach out, leave a comment, share. Of course, all of these classes are a gift to you. And if you'd like to, you can leave a donation to uh, yogagalactica at gmail.com. That's our PayPal. Our Venmo is the at sign Yoga Galactica, all one word. And we greatly appreciate it. It is not necessary to partake and participate, but we appreciate the reciprocation when it does come in. And thank you to everyone thank that you, has Anne. contributed over the months. It's been really special to see those come in because yes. we don't expect it. So no. when we see them coming in, it's really beautiful. Uh, Gretchen, Jenny, Julianne, everyone, all of you guys that have donated. Thank I know you. most of you have. Anyways, we love you. Any and last ladies, words? ladies, remember Thursday night, Women's Circle. We're going to be talking about our wounds, getting vulnerable, and calling in some new moon magic. Excuse me, it's the Gemini full moon. There's lots of shifts happening. Nicole Jadis will be doing a new moon ritual. And then the week after, Jenny Biondo is doing an oil class. So excited. So, ladies, if you're interested, please reach out. I've already invited a lot of you. Julian, happy upgrade yeah. to you. Woo -woo. Happy upgrade to you. Yes. Happy upgrade, dear Julian. Happy upgrade, brother. And we many, many, you. many more. We love you. Thank you. Yeah. Love you all. Aww. Have a beautiful evening. Have a great evening. <laughs>